speeding. Let me get your license, registration, insurance. All right, can I get your full name? I've stopped you before out here for speeding. I gave you a break last time. Officers are used to pulling over people for speeding. But what happens when that person happens to be one of the most famous people on the planet? An officer from the California Highway Patrol was conducting a routine traffic stop on a white Mercedes that was speeding over 60 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour zone. The officer approached the vehicle and this is when we see the situation start. Let me get your license, registration, insurance. Um, my license actually is um, with my security at home. Uh -huh. I don't have it with me right now at this moment. I'm so sorry, but it's like 10 minutes away. Um, you're going 60 and it's like a 45. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Can, I get, your can I get your registration, insurance? Excuse me? Registration, insurance? Oh, I don't know. I, my, all my information is at my house. Okay. Do you have a, a valid license? I've stopped you before out here for speeding. I stopped you before out here for speeding. I gave you a break last time. Um, all right, can I get your full name? Middle. Data. Brittany didn't have her driver's license, registration or proof of insurance with her at the time, having left it with her security at her home. And this actually wasn't the first time that she was pulled over by this officer. The first time the officer had actually let her off with a warning, but this time he had to take action, issuing her a citation. She then received a fine for speeding, which in all honesty, isn't going to make much of a dent to someone worth $60 million. Do you not have a registration in the car? No, sir. Um, do you have insurance? Doesn't your security do. doesn't your security usually follow you? No, my security's at the house. He's at the house. Okay. Um, are you able to have him bring your stuff? Excuse me. Can you have him bring your information? Can you drive there? Nah, I mean, I, no, I don't want to do that. Um, hi. Or you can send you a picture of the uh, insurance. Can you hear me? And insurance. And what? And insurance. And insurance too. So this helps to my phone, so I can show you this stuff. Okay, just wait here for me, okay? Hi, right, ma'am. Um, so I'm gonna write you a fix-it ticket for the license, and then not having proof of insurance. Um, I'm guessing you do have insurance, but you need to have it in the vehicle or accessible. So if you get in a car crash, you can exchange it um, versus having to try to juggle it back and forth. Um, just sign in the red box by signing or not admitting to anything. I'm going to give you a warning for speeding, by the way. Um, just sign in the red box by signing or not admitting anything. You're just promising you're going to take care of it with the court. They should send you a notice to your address. Um, in general, you can just show proof to any law enforcement that you have your license and that you have the insurance. They can sign off on the ticket or, and then you talk to the court with how to take care of it, okay? or have your assistant take care of it. Um, please slow down out here. This is the second time, okay? There's your copy, you're free to go. Brittany was then pulled over yet again only a number of weeks later, making it the third time that she'd been pulled over by this officer alone, this time for crossing double yellow traffic lines, which is illegal in the state of California. I had a TT, my house is right there, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, pass on the double yellows, you can't do that. I'm so sorry. Do you have your license? Okay. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to show you, hold on, there we go. My security at my house has my passport and okay. my okay. driver's license. Okay. Okay, you haven't gotten your license yet? I stopped you a few weeks ago and you're supposed so to get sorry. your license. I'm sorry. Okay, um, do you know you can't pass on the double yellows? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, the reason for that is there's private driveways, so, um, so people are pulling in and out. Okay, um, do you have any like photo ID or anything with your name on it? I, I know who you are, but. Um, okay, you really gotta carry it. Is there a reason why you don't carry it with you? No, it's because I forgot to take it back from the. Beautiful, you gotta take it with the one hand. And I'm gonna be. Yeah. So, do they. Like, so you fly into the airport, right? And then they take it from you and they take it home?
to at the airport? Yeah, well, they want to take it and they take it to the thing and they search it and everything. They never did that before, so my security is very cautious about the passports and everything and make sure that um, I'm not taken advantage of when they do that. They were really kind of rude. Brittany appears incredibly stressed here. Her voice is trembling and she's doing what's called a pacifying behavior with her hair. When we're afraid, we experience stress, which causes the defense mechanism to become triggered. This results in adrenaline being released into the bloodstream via the adrenal glands, which causes muscle tension as well as excess energy filling the muscles. The voice trembles due to the tension in the throat, and she plays with her hair as a method of venting some of that built up stress. Although this officer is genuinely friendly, she's incredibly uncomfortable here. Got it. So that's why. Um. Is there registration in the car or anything like that? Transport. What is that? Can I see Glove. one of those, please? Glove compartment. Is this uh, registration? Edition. Is it registered to you or is it registered to like a business? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Hold on one sec. Okay, yeah, that works. Um. I don't know if the insurance is in here though, hold on. Oh, here we go, perfect. Okay, here, I'm gonna give you um, back this, this one. Yeah, that one, and then I'm gonna hold on to this one just for a minute. And then, uh, just confirm you're, you're Miss Spears, right? Yes, sir. Okay, um, just wait here for a minute, okay? Yes, sir. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, here's your that information. What's your uh, address out here? Do you know your address out here? Uh, okay. You sure? Are you sure that's what it is? Is that considered um, Thousand Oaks or is it Newberry Park or Westlake? And do you know the zip code by any chance? Sir? Do you know the zip code by any chance? No. Um, okay, I'll look it up real quick. <laughs> 3140. And just confirm, so your license is at your house? Um, is there a way, you can make like a photocopy and you can keep it in that same envelope that way. And I promise you, I'm not out here just trying to pull you I'll over. Have it next time. Honestly, it's so dumb. Oh, I don't have it. okay. And I understand because you don't want people to like try to take it as a souvenir or something, so. Um, And I just want you to know that I'm not out here trying to pull you over. I'm out here looking for uh, people speeding and passing over the double yellows, okay? I'm just looking up the zip code. Okay, ma'am, so I'm going to be issuing a citation for passing over the double yellows when it's not allowed. Um, just sign in the red box. By signing, you're not admitting to doing it. All you're doing is promising you're going to take care of the ticket with the court. Uh, I don't know if we'll fit there. And then I'm going to give you a copy. Um, it should be mailed to your address, so hopefully that's the correct address. But if not, um, the court's in Simi Valley. There's some contact information down below, okay? Do you have any questions? Okay, uh, make sure everything's correct. And then here you go. Um, you're free to go. Just drive safely, okay? She received yet another fine for this violation. Brittany has a history of speeding and disregarding the laws of the road. On April 27th, 2007, she was pulled over by the Beverly Hills Police Department for speeding on Sunset Boulevard, but she received only a warning. This event was recorded by the paparazzi.
speeding kills 31 people a day in the United States alone, according to Forbes. So it's really not a joke when you have someone constantly being pulled over for it, regardless of how famous they are. What do you think of this case? Let me know in the comments section below. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.